uh, hello all uh, we are going to start with your fifth unit uh, in your fifth unit you will be studying all about your time series data your spatial data mining and uh, we talk about web mining text mining transactional databases world wide web everything whatever we have studied till now again we will be uh, recollecting everything in your last final unit so coming up with your first topic your first topic is all about your basic concepts in your mining uh, the, here we'll be studying about your time series data if you all remember we have studied your time series data in one of the uh, types of data so what do you mean by this time series data i have given you a best example of your stock market uh, your stock market will be changed at uh, instant time. Instant time is nothing but even if for a, every fraction of second your uh, stock market will be changing. So that is the best example of your time series data as I told you. Now basically what does this uh, time series database consist of? It consists of some values or the entities whatever it is which requires some measurements. So that is nothing but your time series database. So let's look into see the basic concepts in mining data streams that is nothing but we are studying about your time series data now coming up with your mining data streams as i told you a time series database consists of sequence of values or events obtained over rep uh, repeated measurements of time as it is time so we'll be measuring it in the form of time itself right so that's the reason i have taken the best example as your stock market now time series database is also a sequence database because every sequence now at uh, 901 the stock market range uh, rate is different at 902 the stock market rate is different so for every sequence every fraction of second the Data is changing when I'm taking the example of your stock market. Next, the sequence databases in any database that consists of sequence of ordered events with or without uh, country notations of time. Yes, uh, it might be with uh, uh, time notations or it might be without time notations. If I take you the time series data, the other example is uh, about some of the trends. Now, I walk into a website store. In website store, what is happening? I am going, I am buying a, a jeans. Let me take it as a jeans. Now, now this, this time when I am walking in, the type of jeans that are available is different. The next time, after exactly after three or four months, again when I am visiting the uh, this thing, it is changing. So, this is what is happening according to the time. So, it might be based upon the correct time or the time may not be same. The order of the event is not same. Now, time series databases are popular in many applications such as stock market analysis, economic and sales, forecasting, budgetary analysis, utility studies, inventory studies. So, these are all the examples of your time series database. With the growing uh, develop, uh, development, what is happening? There is large number of sensors, telemetry devices, online data collection tools. The amount of time series data is increasing rapidly in order of what gigabytes per day. The same example again, you can relate it with your what the website example or your stock market, anything. For this, the important challenges, there are two challenges which we are facing to get the correct information about or to find the time series. One is to find the correlation, relationship within the time series data. Then the second one is to analyze what huge number of time series to find similar or regular patterns, trends, bursts and outliers. Because see, when I told you in an example of your website, this comes into picture as there are uh, patterns differing for me for every three or four months. Or let me take it in a quarterly basis, the three months. So the trends, everything would be a problem for me. How the uh, people who are buying it are uh, having a mindset. What is the customer uh, reaction towards the pattern whatever i am keeping it in the market and now for all for suppose if i am uh, giving you two or three patterns of jeans now what are the outliers outliers are nothing but what your anomalies what are the uh, defects do i get from it is the response is good bad everything comes into picture here we examine several aspects of mine, mining time series database with a focus on trend analysis the best thing is i am taking an example of your trend analysis here 
see here now in the trend analysis i'm talking about the same a stock market if the function at time t if we are taking into consideration then y equal to f of t such a function can be illustrated as what time series graph a time series involving a variable y representing the daily closing price of a share in a share stock market can be viewed as a function of time t that is y equal to f of t that is y is some variable function of t that is function of your whatever the time to time it is changing now trend analysis consists of the following four major components or movements what are the trend or long term movements cyclic variations seasonal movements irregular or random movements when i talk about this four again you can go back to your website example and you can think about it as i told you quarterly i am changing my trend patterns so that comes in the first thing next cyclic movements or cyclic variations now the same genes in a cycles wise first three months i am giving it for the next three months no again for the next cycle i am getting the same pattern next seasonal now when i talk about seasonal the best example is your seasons itself one is uh, when i am talking about your summer you have a different summer collection when i am talking about rainy you have a different summer uh, different rainy collection when i am talking about your winter you have a different winter collection so according to seasons also your time series data would be changed next your irregular or random movements now it might be your uh, irregular time now just i want to go for a shopping or randomly now a shop a website can't give you only a particular set of products right only for the summer only for the winter it keeps all multiple because i would be traveling in during the summer i would be traveling to a cold place so i need some cold type of uh, like my sweat shirts or something like this carry on so these are your irregular or random movements also if you want to see here you have a time series graph here like how it is changing it's not at all a constant graph because it would be changing according to the uh, customer's opinion customer's view or the time or the market demand everything comes into picture so this is all about your time series data in your first topic we have studied about your time series data as in the time series data we have taken stock market as the best example and coming up with your trend analysis and everything we have chosen up with your website as an example so this is uh, what uh, your time series database is all about thank you